Hello from chilly Martha's Vineyard. It's uh, probably in the low 30s here on today, January 14th. Uh, we're making <coughs> a coffee table belated Christmas present for Ms. Terry. And this is a slick. My great grandfather, Carol Burnham, uh, left me this slick. Uh, in his will. You can think of it as a big chisel, which it essentially is. Uh, razor sharp edge. But <clears throat> you don't uh, hammer on it with a hammer in the back of it like you do with a regular chisel. You get behind it and as you can see, you, you push. And just the weight of it and the momentum uh, does what it needs to do cutting wise and we're taking the bark off from this oak tree uh, stump here. I also use this in Terry's house here to build the mantelpiece in the living room from those timbers so it was a very useful tool for shaping that if you ever take a look at it you can see where I've I've used it to shape that, that mantelpiece. As you can see, we're almost finished with debarking uh, this tree base here. So we can see what, what we've got underneath this bark. So the next phase will be finalizing a design uh, <clears throat> some of the ideas that are floating around in my head are <clears throat> maybe to cut three legs onto this and Terry came up with a good idea of uh, perhaps putting a some sort of stone flat top on it. Uh, so that's a possibility. Another possibility is uh, to have the three legs be separate but meet in the middle. That is, they have a, you have a solid base with these three legs coming into the middle, to, to, the, to the bottom here, which is going to be solid and will unite all the legs. Uh, anyway, those are some of the ideas. If you have any good ones, I'd like to hear them. Stay tuned for the next chapter of Building the Oak Coffee Table.